Hello, visuals, and welcome back to the Visual Guys podcast with me, Dan, and me, Chris. Not really, visuals. It's another solo edition. How how lucky are you guys right now? You get to tune in, listen to the Visual Guy podcast. And listen to this fat bastard ramble on for God knows how long about Miss Marvel. Because it is the Miss Marvel spoiler heavy review for episode one. Uh, went up on what uh, Wednesday. So, been out for a couple of days. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, you're going to get spoiled. But I'm assuming you're only watching this if you've seen it. And yeah, like I said, we are for this podcast and the next episode. It is just moi because Christopher has a busy weekend that he can't get down. Which is fair enough because... Life gets in the way of us doing what we do worst, our videos, because we are awful. But anyway, visuals, for those of you who are here, and you can handle, what, 15 or so minutes, maybe, of me chat, however long this is going to be, chatting shit, then, you know, welcome. Uh, where's my brew? I need my coffees. But it, it is Miss Marvel, and I, I'm just chilling upstairs. It's quite nice, because I'm chilling upstairs. There's no dog... Oh, you little bastard. I fucking nearly spilt my brew everywhere. I am such a friggin' fat idiot. You know that visuals. It's like they're nearly fucking spilling coffee all over the collectibles and shit and the cards. Oh my god. Ah, already off to a fantastic... Do you know what I'm going to do? Do you know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to set my pillows up on my bed. I'm going to lay down. I'm going to lay down and do a podcast because I can. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck am I rambling on about? Do you know what I find difficult about this solo podcast visuals? Which I'm assuring it's probably the same for you. The fact that my own voice annoys the hell out of me because I'm a fat mong. But whenever I talk on my own, it started now. I always yawn. I always yawn. It makes no sense. I can't talk for more than a couple of minutes without making myself yawn. Bloody hell, I must be a boring bastard. What's been going on anyway? It's Miss Marvel. Where's my notes? Here's my notes. There's the rustling of the paper so you know that we are... Uh, we're constantly professional, taking notes, doing our job, taking it seriously, taking it more than I took my uncle's. Um, anyway, so carry on with Miss Marvel. <laughs> Such a weird bastard. Why do you listen visuals to the handful of people that listen to this? Why do you bother? I, I'm, I'm literally, I'm, I, I, all I want, right, is for, for you guys to come watch the videos, right? Because I would love, I would love to have a, a relatively successful podcasting channel. But even I question why people would come along and waste their precious time. We don't have long on this earth. And you're wasting it with us. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. But Miss Marvel episode one is out. It was a beautiful episode. It was a great episode one. And I'm going to be brutally honest. I, I like Kamala Khan. I like Miss Marvel. Uh, um, obviously, the, the current rendition of Miss Marvel. Not Miss Marvel... From back in there, before she turned the Captain Marvel with the whole black and the red waistband and the, you know, the the, the fucking yellow goldy bolt on the front, um, Kamala Khan. I I've always been a fan. She's been great. She's been cool. But I wasn't a megaly megaly. What we make words up as well. I wasn't completely excited. Let's put it this way. I was looking forward to it. I thought this should be good. But I wasn't like ah oh, yes. Oh my god. It wasn't like Moonlight levels excitement or One Division or Loki. But. This was a really, really, really fun episode. It's coming again. It's your It's your it again. Um, this was a really fun episode. What a way to introduce a character. What a way to add a new uh, sort of tone and depth and level to the uh, current existing MCU. Um, a young hero, a young potential future uh, uh, Avenger. Uh, a lot of different cultural differences, bringing a few different backgrounds and speaking on re race and religion and sexual orientation, all that kind of stuff. And don't get us wrong, me and Chris, has, uh, we've spoken heavily about this. I don't give a flying fuck if a, if a character's gay, straight, fucking diagonal, whatever. It, it, if it's impactful to their character, their story arc, you chuck in whatever you need to do to make it a bit, a bit better and a bit more three-dimensional, add a few more layers. But I don't like it when they do this stuff just for the sake of doing it. But this time around, learning about Kamala's um, ancestral history and her parents uh, growing up in the kind of household she's grown up in, with the parents being who they are and whatnot and what they believe in and stuff, it's it's gonna make the the show more interesting because you have to balance the her school life, her friend life, her her house life, uh, eventually becoming a superhero life with all the other stuff that makes Kamala Khan 
chucked into the mix. It's going to be so great. And the one thing that I really, really, really got on board with with her was I can sympathise and relate to her love for a superhero. She absolutely adores and loves Captain Marvel in this episode. Well, not, well, in in general, in, in the whole of the thing. Um, and I can relate because it, the way she looked and thought about Captain Marvel from you know when they're driving into into the city and she look out the window, she had Captain Marvel flying what. That's my love for Spider-Man. So I can completely relate to her. And I can't remember the young actress's name that's that's uh, portraying her. But she's already knocking out of the park. She's fantastic. Um, so yeah, I can relate to her on that. Th this episode was full of so many little giggles. I love that it was a kind of somewhat teen sort of coming of age kind of drama. Um, she uh, The whole point of the episode was she, she just basically wanted to go to AvengerCon and cosplay as her favourite hero, Captain Marvel. Um, she's got a friend in uh, friends involved. She's like we said at the start, she's balancing with her, her uh, school life, her family life, and and stuff. She it, it delivered delivered on so many levels. I love, I really really love the part where she's going through the town. She's on a bike with her pal, and uh, the, the, there's different artwork on the walls, which we'll get to some of the artwork, and it's all moving. And uh, it took a lot from the comic books. Like she does actually have. It's actually one of my notes. I'll just chuck it out there at the thingy. Her hobby um, of like making these little weird fanfics uh, is actually something they took from the comics. Uh, and I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, in the one of the early issues of Miss Marvel, it was like four or five, six, something like that. It was one of the earlier issues. Uh, I'm pretty sure she actually mentions Wolverine that to Wolverine that she did a, a little fanfic of her of him and Storm and whatnot. So they've took a a couple of elements that make Kamala Khan from the comics into the show, which is always fantastic. Um, but I love that part of it, you know, bringing the social media, how kids are these days, because you've got to remember, we're not dealing with a, you know, a middle-aged man of, of Tony Stark or a super old man of Steve Rogers or, um, even a, a completely different to Peter Parker, who's balancing, I never fucking yawn! Oh, you fuck! Who's balancing a, a completely different, um, personal life to, like, what Kamala Khan is, even though they're both school kids and whatnot, it's still... They feel completely worlds apart. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I love that aspect of it. And I'm, I'm happy to see what happens uh, going forward in the future with all that. Let's get on with a couple of our notes now, anyway. Um, we'll talk more about what happened inside of the episode, break it down. Um, we see a pretty cool uh, sketch of Goose the Cat. Um, we get a, um, a drawing of Captain Marvel, or like artwork in her OG costume. There's a few of them that happens uh from time to time, we get a mention of the Scott Lang podcast or Scott Lang's podcast, um, Big Me, Little Me, which is a beautiful name for Scott Lang Ant Man to have as a podcast name. And we, we know that a lot of what happened in Endgame is explained and whatnot through his podcast. Um, we get to see um, the little montage of Carol's hair keep changing, which is obviously kind of like not a joke, but a running thing inside of her story arc. Uh, Captain Marvel, uh, Doctor Strange mashup, some of the artwork on the wall, we've seen that before, that's a real thing that's actually happened. Marvel Zombies, another thing that's actually happened, which is pretty cool to see. Um, this is another pretty cool one, this is this is the one that I, I absolutely love. Edison Electronics, uh, which is the sign that they're set up uh, they're on the roof, and you can see the sign for um, Edison Ele Electronic, um, sorry, Edison Electric, which... Uh, that was actually the base of uh, Miss Marvel's first ever, ever supervillain, the Inventor. Uh, so they've used that name from his base from the comics and whatnot, which is which is always a fun, cool thing. Uh, what else have we got? Next page of my notes, we've got uh, this. She uh, imagines the superhero landing, where she's doing like the little montage of how she's going to get out of her room and get the bus and go to AvengerCon. Superhero London, something being uh, big in superhero stuff, but obviously even bigger because of what Deadpool mentions. This one, this is an infinite what we can go through. I'm sure you've already spotted your own ones, but when we get to AvengerCon, um, we see loads of different cosplayers. There's cosplayers of Cap and Hulk and blah, blah, blah. The list goes on. Uh, the, the cool thing is where we actually are for um, AvengerCon, Camp Lee, uh, or is it Lay? I can never pronounce it. Uh, which is the birthplace of Captain America. But coincidentally, it's not just Captain America's birthplace. That's where he trained and whatnot. <coughs> it's Armin Zola's technical and Hydra's birthplace because it's the place where Armin Zola sp split his mind into different um, drives and stuff. So it's it's his also his birthplace, so Hydra's birthplace, I guess. Uh, the Black Widow and Iron Man Shrine. Black Widow finally being acknowledged for a sacrifice in Endgame, which is cool. Um... 
the toys and collectibles and stuff we see at the stores at AvengerCon are actual toys and whatnot that you can buy from like Hasbro and shit in, in the real world. So that's awesome. Uh, the Department of Damage um, Control. That's fucking awesome because there's a cutscene at the end of the episode one. And we know that, um, what's his name? D um, Detective, Special Agent Cleverly. I've written him down, thank fuck for that. From No Way Home is in this. And uh, they're on about, oh, have you seen this at Avenger Khan? There's somebody with these powers. And they're gonna, they're, we know that they're going to investigate Kamala Khan. Kamala Khan, who's had um, head-ons, let's put it that way, with the government plenty of times before. But it's um, it's the way that the um, special agent, P. Cleverly, sort of looks and gasps. Is there going to be a scroll thing there? I wanted to bring up the Chris, but obviously he's not here. But I think there could be some sort of scroll shenanigans happening inside this episode. Purely based on because we know where Miss Marvel is eventually going to be heading with the, uh, if they're still calling it the Marvel's film and whatnot, um, could she eventually find a way to Nick Fury and all that carry on because we know she's going to have cosmic key sort of uh, powers and we know that they're interested in another yawn! What the fuck? But that uh, is my notes visuals. That is my notes for. Um, Miss Marvel episode one. I also did wanted to point out the fact that um, I'm not going to brush for everything because I'll just put it out there. We know that her origin for the MCU is going to be slightly different from comics, which is nothing new to the MCU. They've done that millions of times with, with different origins and stuff. We know, uh, especially if you played the game as well recently, it's more of an inhuman origin she's got and it, um, it's more closer to um, well, not more. It is. It's inhuman stuff, but it's different. This we know it's some sort of power bracelet that she gets on. Maybe there's some um, Shang-Chi relation there, you know, different sort of artifacts worn on your arm from times gone by. Um, we know that her, it was her grandma that keeps sending these trinkets, so. And her mother was suspiciously um, eager to put that back in the box and say, it's just junk that your grandma sent. Uh, but a quick burg on her powers from the comic terms, we we still need to know what it, what they are in the uh, the MCU. We know she's got like superhuman strength and durability. She can stretch. Um, she can shape shift. Uh, she can go from really small to really, uh, really really tall and whatnot. Um, biomass manipulation. Um, she can um, energy blasts and whatnot. So she's um, definitely cosmic uh, a, a cosmic Reed Richards. Let's put it that way. With a little bit more. Shaz Shazam and, and Sparkle and whatnot. Uh, but that is my notes for Captain Marvel. I can screw them all up and put away. But yes, I thoroughly enjoyed. Oh my god, can I get this in the bin from here? Let's see. One, two, three. Right. This, I can either lie to your visuals or I can tell the truth. I'm going to say I lied and closed my eyes and got it straight in the bin. And that's all we're going to go with. All right. Dandan and Raisin, an amazing shot. The Brown James. Um, yeah, the episode was great. Um, a nice build into who Kamala Khan uh, is. I, I love the fact that we're going to explore her um, in, in really in depth as well as looking at her eventual Miss Marvel persona. I can't wait till she finally gets the costume on, her official costume, till we see some more stretch shenanigans and blast shenanigans. What um, sort sort of more tech is her friend going to make for her? It, it's great. It's got a, it's got a lovely um, heartwarming family feeling to it. It's also got a great. Um, um, sort of, not sad, but like um, uh, a bit of sympathy because Kamala Khan's not not a bad girl. She's not doesn't know anything naughty, but she, she feels a bit restricted and closed in by her parents. And I can't wait to see how that involves. Obviously, her parents are gonna fully accept that she's Miss Marvel. Will she tell them? Will it be a secret? They're gonna walk in her one day and she's doing her powers. How's that all going to play out? In, in, in the grand scheme of things, compared to, you know, we've got Love and Thunder on the way, which had Multiverse of Madness. I was I was just thinking, this show's not going to blow me out of the water. But I was surprised. It was it was a nice, fun, calm, relaxing, easy watch. And I, I, I think it's well it's because of how it's been filmed and how it's been written and the actors and actresses portraying the different roles. They've made me instantaneously fall in love with them. I, I, I'm, I'm so ready for the rest of the season. Five to go. And the best thing is... We get an episode of this and Obi Wan Kenobi on the same day, which is absolutely friggin' beautiful. So yeah, visuals. That was my Miss Marvel spoiler heavy review. Um, the the what I, the one thing that I did find a bit annoying was when she's at AvengerCon and the, the Ant Man statue head falls off and it rolls forever, and there's just people cheering and going, "Yeah, that was awesome." 
where in the background people might get absolutely squished to fuck. That was quite funny. But visuals, there we have it. That was my review for Miss Marvel. It was friggin' amazing. 10 out of 10. I know I'm super optimistic and all, and all that. And it's very hard for me to criticise stuff. If you do want some criticism, come back on Tuesday because I'm going to tear Jurassic World a new one because it was fairly shit. I'm not going to lie. But visuals. Miss Marvel Episode 1 is out. Go check it out ASAP. Thank you for watching. You guys are literally the best. Boys, keep being you and keep on uh, keeping on. I'm sorry you had a solo podcast. I'm a fat idiot, but I love you all.